Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Real Madrid and they face Mallorca. Well Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that for me is the area that's key today. And they kick off here. Gonzalez. Well, we really ought to give credit to Real Madrid because their defence has been second to none. Best record in the league, Stuart. Must be! Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. He continues his run. Showing good defensive judgment. Cutting infield here. Rocked it brilliantly. Oh, good work by the keeper. Who can they pick out? A deft clearance. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. The Merengues have lost the ball. Valiant. Baba. Making progress. Abel Ruiz. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And it goes! That will greatly help. 
help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. back on the way it should be and a goal to increase their advantage to three can they be stopped So on they go again, and every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Aris Seferovic. The first half here comes to an end. Well, the ball moving again, and Real very much in charge of this one. And the ball in the net at the Mastaya. Let's get details from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Valencia. They're back level. It's one all with 48 minutes played. They've been fast out of the blocks here in the second half, Derek. Oh, in it goes! Sensational strike! And now he deserves to celebrate! is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Tielemans. Sané. On to Genduzi. Tielemans. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. And they will make the change now. Shaw. Baba. Now with Seferovic. Abel Rui. How oh, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Aaron Wan-Bissaka and he has options available a really sumptuous ball a goal! we're really being spoiled this is attacking football at its finest My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And Alex Scott has an update to bring us. What's happened at the Mustaya, Alex? It's another goal for Valencia. It was 
a nice pullback, a low driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. They're now behind by one with 76 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Going well. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Renduzzi. Ferreira. Mendy. Can he put it away? And able to close down the shots. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Abel Ruiz. And he was in the right place to intercept. So two minutes of stoppage time here. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. No fans are going to be happy with this. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. This ought to be a game not just appealing to fans of the respective sides, but also to neutrals. Two of the best teams in Europe up against each other. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is first leg action from the quarter-final stage of the UEFA Champions League. It's Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, I've been looking forward to this one ever since they were drawn together. They're two excellent teams with a host of top quality players. This should be a really interesting first leg. Here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rafa out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. A 
And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Milan Skriniar plays with Emerick Laporte in central defence. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. And they kick off this Champions League quarter-final first leg. Matteo Guendouzi. That's a routine take. But he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. Playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. Are well, they going to forge ahead? Oh, he saved it well. And over comes the corner. Only well, failed to get it away properly. Real chance. And a goal! They start as they need to continue. They make the opening statement. PSG get the ball moving again. How will they respond? Skriniar. Nunes. Neymar. And moving the ball nicely. Neymar. Jude Bellingham. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Tielemans. Now with Genduzi. Vinicius Jr. Cleared away. Diallo. Jude Bellingham. Neymar. It's with Rafa. Tielemans. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Oh, but they've lost it now. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Tielemans. Vinicius Jr. Can he make it count? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Is that half time here in the Spanish capital?
And so they kick off the second half in this Champions League quarter-final first leg. Really good challenge. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Tremendous block. The high press was very much on. Now potential danger. And Bellingham. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Neymar. And on to Bellingham. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Good looking sequence. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat trick. A special moment for him. So on they go again, and every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here. Neymar. A oh, super piece of play. And players waiting at the far post. Still can be dangerous, but not to be. It is offside. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Sané, Vinicius Jr. Mendy, and he read it well, intercepting it. Just 10 minutes to go. Mbappe. Here's Diallo. Skriniar. Laporte. And that is that. And the hosts will take with them a lead going into the return game.
the man to watch. A hat-trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Madrid and they take on Real Valladolid. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. A potentially absorbing contest as Real Madrid get things going. Sané. Vinicius. Still possibilities. Well, nothing comes of it. Vinicius Jr. Well, racing past his man. Great opportunity. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. An unforced error, you've got to say. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Rafa, an alert piece of defending. Tielemans Vinicius Jr and back with Tielemans we're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back and he takes on the shots away again and a 2-0 advantage here and Alex is ready with an update for us there's been a goal at the Estadio de Vallecas yeah it's a goal for Sevilla it's now 1-0 with 25 minutes on the clock Alex with the info as ever well doesn't have to do it on his own Superbly read and executed. Well, Real Madrid have certainly dominated the ball, as you can see. And as a result of dominated the game, some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. And I don't think... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! And there is 
the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. they go again and every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here now Fernandez, Yusuf Sanchez Justin well, I couldn't quite find his teammate and the counter-attack is on, options available. Rafa. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And time for the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. The first half here comes to an end. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And let's get details of a goal that's been scored at the Estadio de Vallecas. Alex Scott. Yeah, another goal for Sevilla. They're ahead by two now with 49 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can he do it from miles out? A routine save. And he read it well. Sanchez. Abby Sanchez. And on the ball, Bujanski. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And he put it in, in it goes! Such a complete performance, four in front now. Sided contest 4 0. And new developments at the Estadio de Vallecas. Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Sevilla. The defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching that back. They're now behind by one with 79 minutes played. I'm really enjoying this one, Derek. Cheers, Alex. And good work from Real Madrid to win the ball back. Oh, in with a chance. Can he convert? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss.
Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Ivan Jaime. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.